Notes. The following video depicts a specific configuration of the notebook. The same removal and replacement procedures apply to all configurations of the notebook. Before you begin, remove the battery, optical drive, base enclosure, wireless module, USB board, primary storage drive, subwoofer, front speakers, and fan. Removal. Important. Make careful note of the routing of all cables connected to the system board for later replacement. Disconnect the display panel cable from its connector on the system board. Disconnect the rear speaker cable from its connector on the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the touch pad board ZIF connector and disconnect the touch pad board ribbing cable from the system board. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbing cable. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the keyboard ZIF connector and disconnect the keyboard ribbing cable from the system board. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbing cable. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the keyboard light ZIF connector and disconnect the keyboard light ribbon cable from the system board. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Remove the fingerprint reader board ribbon cable from the adhesive that secures it to the top cover. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the fingerprint reader board ZIF connector and disconnect the fingerprint reader board ribbon cable from the fingerprint reader board. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the lid switch board ZIF connector and disconnect the lid switch board ribbon cable from the system board. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Remove the four 4mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the system board to the top cover. Remove the 5mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the system board to the top cover. Lift the system board off of the alignment pins on the top cover and remove. Replacement Note: Before installing a new system board, remove the following from the old system board and install on the new system board. Heat sink, memory boards, solid state drive, RTC battery, USB board ribbon cables, fingerprint reader board ribbon cable. Place the system board onto the alignment pins on the top cover. Caution! Ensure that all the cables are free from being pinched between the system board and top cover. Replace the 5mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the system board to the top cover. Replace the four 4mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the system board to the top cover. Insert the lid switch board ribbon cable into the lid switch board ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Insert the fingerprint reader board ribbon cable into the fingerprint reader board ZIF connector on the fingerprint reader board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Apply pressure to the length of the fingerprint reader board ribbon cable to adhere it into position. Insert the keyboard light ribbon cable into the keyboard light ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution! 
Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Insert the keyboard ribbon cable into the keyboard ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Insert the touchpad board ribbon cable into the touchpad board ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Connect the rear speaker cable into its connector on the system board. Route the rear speaker cable through the routing channel on the top cover. Connect the display panel cable into its connector on the system board. Route the display panel cable through the routing channel on the top cover. Important! After system board replacement, be sure to complete post-installation tasks as required that may include verifying functionality of the notebook, updating the BIOS, updating DMI and other settings, injecting Microsoft Windows 8 digital product keys.